you have to dig again. Uh, and, uh, uh, also, from uh, a subtopic would be uh, water in a dry place. Uh, work on it. Work on it. Thank you, Lord. And I, I begin to look up the meaning of garage. Amen. It means hallelujah. Uh, the circling uh, of life. Hallelujah. It's a place called a circle. Uh, it's a place where it's considered where you're just going around, but you're ending up back the same place that you once started. Hallelujah. A lot of times people tell you that the Lord is going to do a 360 in your life, but I don't want God to do a 360 because I need them to do a 180 yes. because I don't want to go back to the place yes. that I was once in. Uh, but one thing about it, you may feel like you're in Barah and you're going around in a circle. Hallelujah. But the Spirit of the Lord in the beginning of the chapter in verse 1, hallelujah, that Isaac had the mind Hallelujah, that he was going into Egypt land, but the Lord intervened and said, no, don't go into Egypt land. I'm going to bless you right in your arm. Yeah. Uh, I just want to let you know that God can bless you right in the midst of your problem, right in the midst when everything seems to be dead. He can bless you like nobody else can. Hallelujah. Someone slap your neighbor, don't slap him too hard. Hallelujah. And while you're in a circle. While you're going around in the same circle. And I found out that most people in their life, amen, they're going through a circle, meaning they have no goal, they have no meaning. Uh, they're lifeless, hallelujah. It seems like there's uh, nothing coming together. Everything they try to do seems to be going wrong. Everything that comes together, hallelujah, always seems to fall apart. But I came to let you know that even you're in a famine in the land of Gerar. God has a way to give you life in the midst of the famine. Hallelujah. Look at someone and tell them God is getting ready to give you life in a dead and a dry place. Oh, I feel like preaching already. And there was a famine. Hallelujah. But Isaac wanted to go to Egypt. How many hallelujah have had a plan for your life? You set on the goals. You had the blueprint set up, but the Lord said, no, I don't need you to do that, but I need you to hear what I'm saying in this house. And I found out that the people of God have a problem with hearing what God is saying in this hour. Everybody wants to be a microwave kid. Just pop me in and pop me out. Uh, I often tell the people of God, what about when we used to pop the popcorn like we used to do it with the Jiffy Pop? Can I get a witness in here? and just shake me a little bit longer so that it can all be popped at the same time. But I found up in the body of Christ that nobody wants to go in and drink, nobody wants to deal with anything, but everybody wants to be popped in and popped out. Oh, but look at someone and tell them that there's a process of your going through. There's a process. There's a process. There's a process. Hallelujah. And I begin to look up the other meanings of Gerar. And let's know that there were four other types of meanings in the Hebrew for the word Gerar. And the first one was a place of haunting. Touch someone and tell them a haunting place. Uh, this place was filled with elements, but it would halt your spiritual growth. Mm. It will stop you from getting to the place that you're supposed to be in. How many have ever dealt with the spirit of haunting? That you stayed in the place too long and everything tried to get attached to you. But I came to let you know that when God speaks to you, he didn't tell you to stay in it forever. He just told you to stand still for right now and then watch me move a little bit later. But we've got to get out of the place, hallelujah, that we're not hearing what God is saying and we we're stuck in the place, hallelujah, and we can't move to where God is trying to tell us to move because we're stuck in a halted place. But I keep to let someone know in this house that you've got to get ready, hallelujah, to get out of the place of halting, meaning that the trial that the Lord had allowed you to go into was only to enlarge you, uh, to enlarge you, to make you grow, to make you prosperous. But I found out that everybody doesn't want to grow. Everybody doesn't want to go anywhere, so they'll stand still in the place that they're in. But I got a message for those that haven't halted the spirit. You stay right there. Because I'm 
getting ready to move. And there was a phone right there on a phone that says, when I move, you move just like that. And I came to let somebody know that when God moves, I'm going to move just like that. Can I get a witness in here? If God tells me to go to the left, I'm going to the left. I'm not going to stay right there on the right side because I need God to move in my life. But I'm telling that the people of God, nobody wants to obey the voice of the Lord. Nobody wants to hear what God is saying. Please sit down, you're making me nervous. Hush, I'm on the old side. But God only allows for you to get in this place so that he can enlarge you. Look at somebody and say, enlarge my territory. Oh, you remember back in the day when we would play spades or we would play checkers, they said study long, study wrong. Oh God, some of you have stayed in the place of the wrong too long and you studied too long. Can I get a witness? Meaning that you act like the people of the wrong. You act like you're broke. Can I get a witness? I don't want to be around anybody that have a negative spirit. Hallelujah. That when I pick up the phone and begin to call them, man, I'm doing bad. I feel bad. The devil is a lie. You can stay right there. Because I'm not broke. Hallelujah. But the Bible said that the blessings of the Lord make you rich and added no sorrow. So you mean to tell me the fact that you woke up this morning, that's not a blessing? Oh, you're crying and you're weeping, hallelujah. Because things of your life bill hasn't been paid, you ought to bless the Lord. That's why David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Look at your neighbor and say, preach apple white. was called a dwelling or an abiding place. Uh, once you come to the raw, you will try to stay there. You will begin to walk like him, talk like him, and act like him. But the Lord sent you for a specific assignment. Uh, look at someone. God only sent you an assignment, but he did not send you to stay there. Oh, God. The Lord sent you to give a word to somebody, but he did not tell you to stay there and have dinner with them. Oh, my God. Oh, he did not tell you, hallelujah, to be their buddy or be their friend. But he just sent you for a specific task. Look at your neighbor and say, you've got to hear God in this season. You've got to know when God is telling you to move. Because God only sent you to sojourn there and be there just for a temporary stay. Oh my God. I'm not dwelling in Gerard alone because God has an assignment for me to go forward. Oh, this is getting good. But he only sent you there to enlarge. Oh, man, the God, woman of God, you wonder why things have happened the way it did. It didn't come together the way you expected it. But the Lord said, I did not send you to stay. I sent you there to enlarge. Because you'll find out that in your valley, you will begin to grow. Because the Bible says that in this text, hallelujah, that the biblical got mad with Isaac and told Isaac to get out because he was growing too much. Can I get a witness in here? But the Bible says in the midst, he began to go down to the valley of Gerar. And that's why I came to let someone know in here that in the valley you are going to grow. Stop crying and complaining and saying I'm going through. I'm growing in the midst of the valley. I don't have any tears. I don't have, hallelujah, time to pat you on your back, but you've got to learn to grow through the valley. Can I get a witness? I'm not answering the phone at 3 o'clock in the morning because I pray at 8 o'clock and nobody wants to come to prayer anymore. Can I get a witness up in here? Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. We'll call for prayer service, but hallelujah, but they won't show up. But at 8 o'clock, 3 o'clock, you want to wake me up out of my sleep? But get me to pray for you. The devil is a liar. You've got to learn to grow in your valley. Look at someone and tell them we don't have time to be playing games in the kingdom anymore. But we've got to get real of the games and get real with the real people of God. That when they call prayer, I'll be there at 6.30 if they start at 7.30. Do you remember when the mothers would get there and they would be ready for prayer? Hallelujah. The house of God would be anointed. Everything would be in order. But nobody wants to walk in order anymore. Nobody 
nobody wants to walk in the favor of God anymore. But I came to tell somebody that God is looking for a people, hallelujah, that will say, God, I obey your voice. If you tell me to clean the church, I'll clean the church. If you tell me to wash the windows, I'll wash the windows. But everybody got a spirit. Everybody want to leave the church. But nobody wants to be a follower. to move 
move on. Uh, uh, dig another way up. Uh, uh, you might have shown me that you wasn't my friend. Uh, uh, but I'm not going to get mad and talk about you. Uh, uh, but I'm going to keep giving God praise because you've given me contention and you've given me strife. Uh, so we thank God for the dealing with Esau. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, I thank God for Esau. Uh, uh, I thank God for contention and strife. Uh, uh, so that moves me to the next place in my life.
and we're going home. He said, I'm oh, yeah. the exceedingly fruitful. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And I will make nations of thee. Yes. Yes, hmm. yes, yes sir. Yeah. And kings shall come out of thee. Yes. Oh, my. <laughs> Some of you have felt like that everything you burnt out wasn't prosperous, but God said, I'm going to make kings come out of thee. Oh, I'm getting ready to make kings come out of you. Meaning I'm going to make prosperity come out of you because I have made a room for you. Say the Lord God. Oh, yes. Preach it here. I got two more minutes to go. I'll preach myself. Yes. 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 Thank you. Everything that has come out of you has been broken. Oh my God. Mm. But he said, I'll make kings come out of you, men of God. Yes. And God Almighty yes. shall bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee. Yes. Thou and the multitude of people. Mm. Mm. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Oh my. Mm. So, so. Pastor, this is for you. Whoever's connected to you have to grow. My God. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Because you'll find out who's really connected to you because if they don't if they don't grow and you're grown, that's not the one that's connected to you. You'll find out that in the midst of growing through, you'll find out who's praying with you. You'll find out who's living real. Yes, yes. Yeah. 
work on it. So he said, don't go to Egypt yes. where there's prosperous, there's prosperity, there's plenty, but I want you to go to Gerar where there's a famine. Yes. I want you to go to a dry place that I can show my power that you will see that I am God and I'll cause war to reign in a dry place. Yes. The reason why God has not moved for some of you all because you won't go to the dry place because you're always trying to go where it's wet. Touch your neighbor say go to where it's dry so that the Lord can open up a door where it's wet. Jesus, um, oh God! Yes, we went about three years ago, when we was open, getting ready to start the ministry, uh, we had two groups of people. We had a set of people in Florence who said, "Man of God, open the door, open up a church in Florence, and we're going to be with you." And then we had a set of people that was in Monk's Corner, St. Stephen, that said, "Man of God, open the doors, and we will be with you." Uh -huh. So I prayed. <coughs> Now, my flesh said, open up the door in Florence because I live in Florence. It would be easier for me. But the Lord said, no, go to St. Stephen's. I can't find none of them people from Florence. Not one. Now, I got some people from Florence now. Amen. Amen. That drive there. But if they were really with me, they would have came there. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, meaning that when I was serving my man of God, it didn't matter yeah, who the Egypt I was going to. Yes. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> so, after in the process, he said, go to St. Stephen's and I'm going to bless you there. We were in a shop, uh, smelled like burnt hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we would take all the chairs. We bought some chairs from Lowe's. And we would bring the chairs out into the middle of the aisle. My sister-in-law allowed us to go into the place free of charge. Yes. Just have church. So every Wednesday, every Sunday, we would pull the chairs. And she had the speakers were like this. Sitting up in her shop all week long. Yes. <laughs> Amen. We'll pull them out, and the people uh, would get weary, but God blessed in the midst. Yes. Amen. That the first service we had in the shop, 20 people joined. Yes. Wow. Right. Oh, come on. Wow. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank the Lord. Yes. And I probably only lost two because I had two Judases. Oh. <laughs> They're still there. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> so I obey the voice of God that uh, the doors opened and it began to grow and grow. Yes. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That uh, within the second year, uh, uh, my bishop came down from New Jersey. He said, he said, Bishop. He said, the hand of God is on you. He said, because I don't see who can just call people and it's done just that fast. He said, I can't get my people to do nothing. Mm. Amen. I said, I just obeyed the voice of the Lord. And I had the dream. Another apostle had even told my wife, said, your, 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 your husband's getting ready to go up into the bishopric. And I said, oh, no. I don't want to be called no fly by night. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And uh, so, Bishop, he said, you were already a bishop when you were serving your leaders, but they just didn't see it. Amen. My God. Well, they saw it, but they didn't want you to go. That's it. Wow. Thank you, Lord. 